What's going on, folks? I'm coming back to you guys with uh, this is actually a second period uh, GB match on NHL 11, and uh, I make a little comeback here. It's actually pretty impressive. Down 3-1 to Pittsburgh, and uh, as most of you guys will know, uh, Pittsburgh in the last roster update, uh, they have gotten Crosby and Melkin back, and they have Kovalev, and uh, you know they're pretty uh, they're a pretty unstoppable team. With uh, especially Crosby and Melkin, I mean, Crosby is amazing at faceoffs, and uh, I mean he's just so hard to knock off the puck in this game. But uh, there, unfortunately, my opponent leaves me open in front of the net. And uh, primarily, I didn't want to talk about the gameplay, but uh, this is a good example of a comeback. Unfortunately, in the end, uh, I don't have enough time to show you the third period. It's actually quite uneventful. But uh, I did lose this game in the last 30 seconds, which was unfortunate. Um, pretty sure it was to a slap shot by Crosby in the slot, which is basically uh, unstoppable. You know, you know when you get that slap shot, that perfect slap shot off with a player uh, as high rated as Sidney Crosby, that that you're basically screwed. So that's what happened, and uh, and I lost this game. And unfortunately uh, for me. I was in a bit of a slump, but I seem to uh, have made a, a little comeback in my uh, in my GB rank on NHL 11. But uh, yeah, so far so good. Good experience on game battles. Uh, a lot of the guys I play are good. Some some guys I play are are kind of rude and uh, obnoxious. But uh, I guess that's what you get when you're playing, you know, 12 and 13 year old kids sometimes. But that's okay. Anyways, the main reason I'm making this video is I actually wanted to talk about a video that uh, that I, I saw probably a couple days ago. And uh, it is an NHL 12 video, and I'm going to link you to this video in the description. It's, uh, it's of the new physics engine, and what is interesting about this video is it actually shows Ryan Smith, and I believe Ryan Smith is hitting a player on Columbus. And what happens is Ryan Smith and another player from uh, from LA. Now I know Ryan Smith is not going to be playing on LA anymore, but uh, Ryan Smith is on LA in this video, and he and his teammate actually hit a member of the Columbus Blue Jackets, and they both hit the player at the same time. The physics engine actually knocks the other LA Kings player over, as well as the Columbus Blue Jackets player over. So this. This kind of shows me the uh, pinball effects. You know, they said physics engine, and I was like, you know, they had a they had a real, supposedly real hitting physics engine last year, and you know, it was kind of clunky. It worked okay in versus play, but uh, if you guys ever played a EA Sports Hockey League match, which I'm sure many of you guys have, and uh, you got those guys with 99 hitting, and somehow, somehow, you're skating up the ice. And they come from behind you and level you, and you're like, you know, it's funny when I play hockey, I can never level a guy from behind open ice by just pushing him on the back. And uh, no, because that's not physics; it it doesn't work that way. But uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping in NHL 12, at least from this video, it looks a little better. I mean, if you hit a player and that player hits into another player, you know, his momentum's gonna carry on, stuff like that. If two players go in to hit one player, you know then there's going to be a collision and uh, I think that's the main focus in this game uh, as far as the physics with the goaltenders it's going to be it's going to be interesting I think that's uh, that's going to be interesting the main thing to focus on for EA because I mean if they get that wrong it's going to hurt the game let's face it if you're skating by I know a lot of times you skate by the crease when you're playing EA Sports Hockey League and, and if you just touch the goaltender and you get a penalty uh, that's going to suck because sometimes that's, uh, that's, you know, you can't really stop it. But we'll see. Uh, that's all, that's, it's always a risk, right? When you're adding a new feature to a game as big as goalie contact. And I'm guessing they're going to have to work out the bugs. There's going to be a little, you know, fine tuning as to what is and what isn't a penalty. And to, you know, how hard you can hit a goaltender before it actually becomes a penalty. And in terms of, you know, if the goaltender's out of the crease, can you hit him and knock him down or what's going to happen? I'm really interested in seeing what's going on. But uh, I'm quite confident with this new physics engine 
that EA is at least going to get some things right. I mean, it looks promising. It looks actually real. As before, if you kind of just uh, bumped into a player and nothing would happen, you know, you just... It wouldn't even be like he was in front of you. You just kind of bump into him and... Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of lost for words here, but there was no physics when you were bumping into a guy. It was uh, him just completely skating into you and not, not, you know, stopping or moving or anything. But with this new video... That Patrick Kane slap shot right there, uh, that, that's what I call a legit slap shot. I mean, that's coming down with speed through the center of the ice and letting one rip. That shot was on fire. The slap shots that they need, I know I'm kind of straying off topic, but uh, the slap shots that they need to fix in NHL 12 are the slap shots where you're in the zone, you're skating very slow, you skate to the middle of the ice, and you take a slap shot and you score. I mean, those uh, those are really hard to stop, and they're really, really common in EA Sports Hockey League. You don't see them as much in versus play. I'm not sure why. Um, they don't happen too much against me. Maybe they're easier to defend in versus play and uh, harder to dis defend in EA Sports Hockey League when, you know, you're only playing with two or three guys and you got the computer defense, which is really, really, um, you know, they're like retarded, retarded, ostriches or something <laughs> anyways commentary's coming to an end i'm gonna link you to that video thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next video